Okay, this is very important. This is a special technique that we were given if somebody ever loses something. This is, uh, it's amazing the amount of stories that people have lost something. We have a tradition that if you lose something, there's a way to find it. Uh, it's, it's, you might call it mystical, Kabbalistic, and it's, uh, we have many things in our tradition that are tried, tested, and true. This is one of those things. So, when a person loses something, you want to, first of all, think about what you lost, and you, you feel that I, I want it back. But then you say the following thing. Okay, repeat after me. Amar Rebbe Binyam. Amar Rebbe Binyam. I'm going to say it first in Hebrew, and then I'll translate afterwards. Amar Rebbe Binyam. Amar Rebbe Binyam. Hakol Bechezka Sumin. Hakol Bechez. Chezkas, Sumim, Ad, Sheyiftach, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Esenayim. Says Rabbi Ben Yamin, everybody is like they're blind until Hashem opens their eyes. We're all like we're blind. I only lost it, I didn't lose it, it's only that I'm blind. You know sometimes you lost something and it's, oh your key's right in front of you, right? It usually goes like that. But why couldn't you see it? So you say that line, that everyone is like they're blind until the Shem opens up their eyes, and then you get ready to give a coin to tzedakah. And the merit of Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Meir, the merit of the great sage Rabbi Meir, Balanes. So you say the following, Eloka de Meir Aneni. Eloka de Meir. De Meir Aneni. May the God of Rabbi Meir answer me. Obviously we're talking about Hashem. And we do that three times. Eloka de mer aneni. Eloka de mer aneni. Answer me. Eloka de mer aneni. Eloka de mer aneni. Oh, and you give the coin. Run to the nearest tzedakah box. And there's not the shem. And that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Okay.